What's up guys? Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Today, we're talking about triangles. How to trade them, what to look for, how to confirm them, everything you need to know about triangles. But we're going to keep it simple, and keep it so that anybody can use this method. Stay tuned guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Let's get the uh, let's get the disclaimer out of the way first. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. With that being said, if you make any trades, do your own due diligence and make your own informed decisions. All right, guys. Getting right into this, we're going to start with the uh, we're going to start with the Bitcoin chart, and we're going to start with one of three types of triangles that I'm going to describe today. And I'm only keeping it three, keep it simple, keep it, you know, keep it really easy to follow. So Bitcoin right now on the daily chart is in a, an ascending triangle. See here, we have our resistance right around $60,000 or uh, 60, 61, 162 is where the line is drawn, but you can generally just get it close and you see the triangle is ascending we are moving closer and closer to that line while this line stays horizontal this is a flat line here and we're moving closer to it this is an ascending triangle and more often than not this is going to be a continuation pattern which means we're here we're in an uptrend it's an obvious option that I can zoom out of this chart a little bit and you see that we're in an uptrend. And this pattern typically will identify as a continuation, as a consolidation period to continue to move higher, to continue the uptrend. It is a, more often than not, going to be a continuation pattern. You can see here, we were on our support line. We hit our resistance. We sell down, hit our support line again, but our support line is now higher. We hit our resistance again. We hit our support again, our support line is now higher, and now we're banging up against the resistance again. I don't see this pattern here lasting for more than another two days tops before we have a, we have a full balloon breakout. And if you're looking to enter a trade with an ascending triangle get confirmation break a candle above that resistance and keep a second day above that resistance you're typically going to break it and then you're going to come back and retest it with typically a red candle but you don't want to go below it you don't want to fall back into this wedge because then you're right back to not knowing if you're going to break up or break down you want to break above it and hold above it. Typically here, see our target here is at 75,000 uh, 75, some change or 44,9, say 45,000. Their target is typically going to be the size of the opening of the triangle here. The, the widest point of the triangle is going to be your target breaking out of it. So if this breaks out here, we're going to be looking for a targeted price of $75,000. With that being said, you are not going to lose enough profit if you get one candle above and then trade a second candle and it stays above. And then if you start your trade at 62,719 or 63,000, the difference between 60 and 63,000 Going up to 75 is not substantial enough for it to be worth the risk of not knowing whether or not the breakout has been confirmed. It is imperative to, to let these breakouts confirm before you make the entry to the trade. So guys, that is an ascending triangle. Again, you're going to have a support level or a, a resistance level that is flat completely horizontal and your resistance or your support level. Wow. I am just 
Let me start that over. You have a resistance level that is horizontal and flat. You have a support level that is dynamic and moving up. This signifies that the buyers are taking over control. They bought up to here, the seller sold off. The buyers started buying back at a higher price. They bought up, the seller sold off, the buyers are buying up at an even higher price. It just hits it and it doesn't break again. Yesterday, the candle wicked the top of this and it still closed. It still closed in a bullish candle, but it closed slightly below that resistance. If this sells off again, it's not going to make it to this low. If it does, it'll be breaking out in a downward motion and we would have to test for a short position to see if it doesn't break back into the wedge or back through it. It could break down one candle and then shoot up with a massive candle. Pressure could come in, volume can come in. So a single candle breakout can easily be a, a head fake, it can easily be a false breakout. Keep that in mind, guys. Give it at least two candles. Go in on the third candle. Best piece of advice I can give you. Right, let's get out of here. We're going to go from here to, we're gonna go opposite of this. We're gonna go with RVN. We're gonna go with Raven. And Raven is one that's scaring me a little bit right now because we are definitely in a descending triangle. So here you have a descending line of resistance. A resistance is getting tighter. A resistance, our resistance is getting closer to our support. And our support has been a straight line here at around 18 cents. And it's been holding, it's been touched multiple times. That is another key to drawing these support and resistance um, triangles. They need to be contested multiple times. You have to see that this line has been touched multiple times. Now this one has been hit a lot on the, on the resistance side. Three to four over the course of the size of a triangle, three touches, four touches is enough. On the, on the uh, support side, one, two, three, four, five is enough. This is getting very close. Again, in a, typically a descending triangle will be a continuation of a downtrend. However, RVN has not been in a downtrend. It was in a massive uptrend and retraced, started, in a, started a new uptrend and got near that all time high again before this consolidation, this very large consolidation period took off. And you see there's no volume. The RSI or the uh, MACD is minuscule on how much movement there is. So while this is typically a continuation pattern for a downtrend, it can also be a reversal pattern to signify the top of a of an uptrend. Now, none of these things are 100%. None of these things are set in stone. I'm not telling you that Raven is going to go down, but if I had to put odds, I would say the odds are that BTC is going to break up and odds are that RVN is going to break down. But RVN is a fickle beast. Um, it typically does not do what I believe it's going to do on any type of TA, but it was a good example right now of a descending triangle. And again, you take a line from your entire opening of the triangle and that this would be our, our target lines. The target downtrend would be at 12 cents and it is very near where the bottom of the retracement happened. And it wouldn't surprise me to, to touch that, to touch that level and, and trade sideways again and potentially have a breakout upward soon. But it is definitely a, uh, not out of the range of possibility to retest 12 cents for, for RVN. Now, if the opposite happens, if it breaks up, we're looking at, you know, roughly 24 cent to to be our, our target for this and then 24 cent might be a range that it sits in that range for a little bit but again this is a uh, descending triangle we're looking for two consecutive candles outside of that triangle and make a trade entry on the third 
If you're looking to enter a trade for a short position, come down. If you're looking for a long position, uh, you know, either way you're going, you want to you make sure that this comes out for at least two candles and enter on the third. Again, RVN descending triangle. There are there are bullish descending triangles. It is not unheard of. Um, might be able to call this a bull pennant because it was coming in on an uptrend. This could very easily still go bullish, but I think the most likely scenario is that this is the peak of the current uptrend for Raven, and it, it starts to fall. Uh, there are a couple. I hope I'm wrong. There are a couple of reasons to believe that. We did not get a good bounce off the 50-day moving average. We're just barely above it. So we did come off of it when we traded below it for one day, I think. Or, yeah. We traded below it one day and, and bought right back up to it. So that's looking good that we didn't stay stay below the 50-day moving average, but we're right on it. We need to make a move off of it. Um, and either way, it's going to start trading below or above the 50-day moving average. It's not going to stick on it for too long. Hope it goes up, but man, there's been a whole ton of sell pressure. Every time RVN tries to buy up, it sells down immediately. It sells down immediately, sells down immediately. Lots of new miners moving to RVN. Um, so that puts a lot of new sell pressure into the market. But there is an example of a descending triangle. And again, descending typically a continuation of a downtrend or a reversal signal for an uptrend. Last one guys, and we have ascending, descending, and now we are going to go into symmetrical. So this is a symmetrical triangle from ADA. I did this ADA video yesterday and was talking about this triangle that a breakout is imminent. And the reason why the breakout is imminent is that We've got super low volume, super low MACD. It, it can't continue this way that long. Um, we pushed to the limit yesterday of the uh, of the triangle. I thought we might have a breakout, but again, it was a head fake. If you bought here at this at this first breaking of this line, it's a mistake. You have to get confirmation out of it two days by on the third day. Or if you're trading on the four hour period or the eight hour period, whatever time period you are, you want at least two candles out. So again, we have our target for the length of the width of the triangle. Uh, we're, we're looking at a good target here of, of 164 for, uh, for a high. If we break out to the high, we break out to the low, 78 cents, 79 cents would be the target. Um, again, this is one where I do think that the the breakout is more likely to be up uh, because typically a a symmetrical triangle will be a continuation of the current trend. There, it is not typical for a symmetrical triangle to be a reversal. So that being said very clearly, very obviously in an uptrend. The symmetrical triangle is a consolidation period off of a, off of a retrace, which is not atypical by any means. Um, it is not atypical to have a consolidation after a retrace. And I think we push for, I think we push for new highs. I think that this will be a continuation of the uptrend and I think that 165 is a very obtainable target. So again, guys, a couple rules with trading triangles. You want to have multiple touches on both the support and resistance lines. And here, you know, where you don't have one going fully horizontal, you have dynamic support going up and you have dynamic resistance going down. If this were to break down, this resistance would stay going in the same direction and that would continue to be a resistance going farther. This would still be a resistance down, down, down until you, you know, until we hit this point. And then there's a potential for another consolidation 
or a new break, something else that would cause a, a break around this period. And it's not exact. It's, you know, there's, there's never an exact sign to this. There's never going to be an exact number. But somewhere around this period, there will be something that happens where either it will trade sideways for a little bit or it will consolidate with another triangle. Um, something else will form and and then there will be a new move to be made. Uh, same here, same at this top level. And in the same thing, once we come up, if we break upward, the support still holds and the support will still hold this way. It should, it should want to not break the support level going forward until we hit this level. And then again, another move will have to be made. A new formation will be formed generally in this area of around 165. So guys, multiple touches on both lines, support and resistance. Low volume, low MACD, there's indecision in the market. This is indecision, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, very small movements. Your breakout, and don't always, don't always, um, insinuate that breakout means up breakout just means out of the current triangle out of the current channel triangle wedge whatever people use whatever people uh, use for the terminology breakout can be down or it can be up this i definitely believe is going to be up our van not so sure about bitcoin definitely i would bet my house on it breaking up so that being said guys that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope it's something that you can use moving forward and, and, and put into your arsenal of trading tools. Again, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I've been getting a ton of feedback, a ton of you guys commenting and liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for all the support. Until next time, peace.